About two-thirds of the way through that fine 1992 film, A League of Their Own, star catcher Dottie Henson has had enough of the grind and is ready to quit. It just got too hard, she tells Jimmy Dugan, a former Major League home run leader now relegated to managing the Rockford Peaches in the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League. It's supposed to be hard, Dugan spits back. If it wasn't hard, everyone would do it. The hard is what makes it great. Some years ago, at a lunch honoring Midge Dector, who died this past May 9, I quoted the fictitious Jimmy Dugan while trying to capture something of the character of Marjorie Rosenthal Dector Podhoretz, Midge to her parents and all those privileged to be her Freya. Doing the hard, with the courage born of conviction and the skill born of a broad and penetrating intelligence, is what made Midge Dector great, and unique. And while it's a cliché to say it, especially about a gimlet-eyed editor who would skewer a cliché at 40 paces, we won't see her like again. The combination of circumstances and personality that made her a giant are not replicable. And that is not pleasant to contemplate, because America today badly needs the wisdom and example of a Mitch Dector. Writing of Midge in the new Criterion, Roger Kimball nicely captured her multifaceted personality and its impact on so many of us, she was above all a sort of spiritual godmother, warm and encouraging to the young, unsparing to the pompous and wrong-headed, gifted with a laser-like ability to distan. You'll rarely be disappointed. As a matter of prudential judgment, she was right, the human capacity to muck things up is virtually limitless. But while hard experience and the cardinal virtue of prudence might dictate thinking low and not expecting too much in the political arena, Midge also challenged us to aim high, to live and organize and argue for the good things, the permanent things, the noble things. Thinking low didn't mean naming low. And while Midge fought hard, she also fought clean, with a joie de combat and brio that kept those of us fortunate to be in her orbit energized. Midge loved the United States of America and was deeply grateful for what the country had meant to her forebears, for tens of millions of other descendants of immigrants, and for women, 